in order to adjust weird points, our only option is actually just the direct selection tool. Even though I say only, it is perhaps the most powerful tool that we have got. Well, in fact, it's the only tool that we've got to be able to adjust certain things. So as you can see, it's as simple as clicking on the anchor point and then moving it to a new location and or changing the length of our handle. What you don't want to do is cross handle. So imagine there's an imaginary line there. We have crossed these handles and we don't want to do that. What you want to have is a gap between them. This makes, oh, this gives us breathing room and makes it just look a lot more pleasing. Plus you don't get the, yeah, you don't get that horrible kind of egg on the head kind of thing there. Now, a couple of times you might not know which direction you're at and it may look okay until you inspect it and you see what is going on here. All you've got to do is just simply click a handle, move it, and then you can actually see that things were in the wrong direction. Now, say you actually wanted to change the direction like we did in another video, we can actually get our anchor point tool and we can click and drag that to be in a different location. So that is a really useful tool for us. We've got the direct selection tool that moves anchor points and edits the handles. And we've also got our anchor point tool which makes curved edges into angles or really hard points. And that also turns it into curves.